So a time that I experienced failure in ceramics was when it came to doing the wheel throwing. And we were supposed to make a cylinder that was three by three inches. And so I really struggled with this because um, when it actually came time for me to do it, I didn't have much, like, I wasn't very experienced when it came with it. And as far as like coning up and coning down, I had lots of trouble as far as like, <laughs> as far as my strength and keeping actually, myself steady. My cylinder I made, I got help from Azuli because I barely even, like, I barely started it and I was like, I just want to give up, I don't want to do it. Something that I probably failed on was my texture mug and it exploded in the kiln. I was really excited for it, but then again, I rushed the project, so it was expected to blow up. Another time when I experienced success in ceramics was when I set out to make a flask. And so for this time, usually when I start out with a project, I don't have a clear idea of what I want to do. But this time, I actually like set out, I made a plan, I put lots of time, effort into the measurements, into my preparation. And by actually like putting out so much extra like effort and time, then I actually found that like my final product actually came out really like good. And that I actually like, that I actually got it done a lot faster than I would have like had I not put as much preparation like I usually also, do. One of my so favorite right. pieces is also my texture mug. Um, I remember when she first introduced it, I was like, oh, this is an easy project. And um, I did it for my extra project and my independent project, and I love them both. I really like my, my second texture mug, and I think I used PC21, and I saw someone else's mug, and the color was just was pretty, and then I put it on mine. It was just beautiful. So I really feel like ceramics, it showed me like that it's really important to like let other people help you and also just come prepared and to be patient and then once you do all of those things together then at the end you always have a good product. Ceramics, I believe the most you learn is self-improvement. When you're in a class where it relies on a lot of independent, independent work. And is very like in this class you don't really have to be artistic wise like in drawing because like me and my other art class it's kind of like you just want everyone to be better so like you comparing but in here you don't have to have those type of skills you can make anything and